I just wanted to share a success story. I had a, a lady that I've been emailing for a while, uh, just a short while, and she's come back to me a few months later with, uh, with this. Many thanks to you, I was researching my situation on YouTube and came across you. I just wanted to update you on my progress. I did leave. I eventually went to a woman's crisis centre for abused women because it did get worse. I stayed there for two months, yet I did get weak and I went back. But I decided I'm getting too old for this and that I deserved to be respected and make my own decisions. So I waited till I got approval for an apartment from, through the government and now my boys and I are safe, at peace and happy. It's not easy to leave him for good, but I could not help him and I could not take his tan temper tran tantrums anymore. I'm presently working on my education so that I can master independence. I like the feel of it. You motivated me. Keep up the good work and I'm sure you help many pe pe people like me every day because you take the time to. Going back into her story, she'd, um, <clears throat> she'd said that uh, she had endured a lot of verbal abuse from her father. He was very good at shredding the, um, at reducing them all to shreds when she he was when she was a child, uh, and he a subsequent partner was just as cold, almost not able to be capable of showing affection, as my father, as she put. Um, she says she deserved to be respected as an individual, which is a great point of view, but not everybody thinks that the same way. People don't think that, they always think they're wrong, often the victims of abuse. Uh, yes, he has sexual demands. I'm actually happy at the uh, time of the month when she has an excuse not to, and that he was increasingly demanding, uh, uh, once every day and sometimes more than twice every day. That's very common with abusers, male abusers. Uh, with relation to the phone calls, um, it said that, she'd said that uh, he always eavesdrops on them. He's never happy for me to say hi to anyone on the phone. Uh, he may hide under a window or behind a door to listen and then replays my conversation. I have no contact with friends. They are bad for me, is what he says. Uh, when he doesn't get his way, he gets angry and silent. And after an argument, he will pester me for sex until he gets it. Your post has renewed some hope for me, she put. Uh, but that her situation caused her soul much anguish. His anger d had escalated, and I'd said it uh, often does. That behaviour escalates in an abuser. Yesterday, he punched a hole in the wall, she put. I'm so glad you posted this article. I've learnt a lot. I feel like somebody understands me now, and I feel... Uh, and and no, understands how I feel and what's going on. I can't say that those thing those things to anyone. My friends, I have left, um, don't want to hear my stories and think I have too many problems. Which is very common that you become isolated as a um, as a victim. You isolate yourself because of what your abuser says. Um, so it's lovely. That's very unfortunately very typical of the kind of people, um, not the people, the, the stories that I'm getting of emotional abuse. It's very common. Um, yeah, it's very lovely to hear the story. I'm very, very touched by that. That, um, you know, she's, I've helped her from, uh, she's in America, that I've helped her through, you know, this format to, and, and the emails, just to be able to uh, see things slightly differently uh, and educate herself and, and build up her self-esteem uh, to the point that she is taking control of her, herself and her life. Um, and it's, it's lovely to hear that um, she's not going to be passing those patterns, those negative destructive patterns onto her children by being a victim in front of them. She's now taking control of her life, no longer going to be a, a victim, uh, which is great, and that's the best thing to learn for kids. Um, otherwise, they'll be learning how to be an abuser or how to be a victim. Uh, we don't want that. So, um, wonderful stuff, heartwarming stuff, yet it's so difficult to uh, to hear the stories beforehand. But it makes it all worthwhile. Thank you very much. Keep sending your story and, um, and commenting um, on the post. Thank you. Bye.